Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Mr. Luca here, and we're ready to do our writing session, our first writing session of term two. So let's go have a look at our learning intention. I'm gonna to go to our my writing board over here. Our learning intention today is to make a plan for our holiday recount. So we're gonna be doing our holiday recount this week, and then next week we're actually gonna start something, something new. I'll let you know a little bit later, later this week. But to be successful today, I can jot down keywords for my orientation and series of events. So we did recounts at the end of last term. So let's see if we can remember what is what is needed exactly in our recount. So we're gonna have a look at the things that we did last, last term, it's on our board, our recounts. So remember for our orientation, we needed who, where, when, what, and why we need to answer those questions in our orientation before we go on to our series of events where we need to do firstly, then next and finally. Let's take a little back step now and just remember what a recount exactly is though. What is a recount? What's a recount? A recount, a recount is a written a written text about something that has happened Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my writer's notebook now. I know that you don't have your writer's notebook with you, but you can still do some brainstorming and some planning on a piece of paper. So if you can get a piece of paper for your planning. This is mine over here. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by brainstorming. Do any of you remember what brainstorming means? Brainstorm it because we're in the pre-writing stage. Remember, we haven't, we're not starting our drafting today. We'll start our drafting tomorrow. But our brainstorm is where we just think of, we're just coming up with some ideas. So we need to come up with some, with plenty of ideas now of the things that we did on on the school holidays. Okay, so Mr. Lorica is going to start thinking now because this is what writing is all about. You need to be using using our brains to think about the things that we need to think about. And I'm going to think about all the all the things that I did in my break. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing that I can think of is I watched movies. So I'm going to jot that down. Yeah, watched movies. Uh, another thing that I did was I, you all know how much I love to kick the football. Kicked the footy. I went down to the, just to the park up the road to kick the football. Um, I also, oh, my I washed my car. <laughs> I washed my car was another thing that I did. Um, I went for a jog. I video called friends as well. So it was a great way to, great way to catch up. Great way to catch up with, um, with friends is through video calling. During this time now, where we need to social distance, so video calling friends. Oh, here's one that you're gonna you're gonna like. I coloured my hair. Coloured my hair. I actually didn't colour it. My mum coloured it. My mum's a hairdresser. You had to see it. You can't laugh at me though. Here it is now. <laughs> I'm still covering up for a bit now because I'm not really used to it. So maybe next lesson I'll take my hat off. Sound alright? 
So I coloured my hair. Um, so that's probably enough. Probably enough brainstorming now. I've got plenty of ideas. Plenty of ideas now for um for what I can use in my recount. So now I'm going to start planning. I'm going to go a bit further down now, and I'm going to start planning down here for my orientation. Orientation. And remember how we planned for that. We need to um we need to answer who, where, when, what, and why. So an orientation is just you know one or two sentence. To one or two sentences, but it needs to answer these these five. Who, where, when, what, why. Say it with me like we did last term. Who, where, when, what, why. Who, where, when, what, why. That's it. Okay, so first of all, my, my over the, the holidays, who was it? Who was it? That had the school holidays? It was me. And I live with mum and dad. Where? Here at home. When? School holidays. That's when, when it was. What was it? Um, well, what I did was many different activities. Many different activities. And why? To stay safe and have fun. Okay, so now there's, there's a nice little plan. I'm using keywords, just like what our learning intention was and what a success criteria. I can jot down keywords for my orientation and series of events. I haven't done my series of events yet. We're gonna to get to that in just a moment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my brainstorm while I was thinking about all the things that I did on my holidays. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna choose maybe three or maybe I'm gonna choose four of the things that I want to write about in my recount because I'm not going to write about them all. I'm going to write about three or four. There's actually one that I, I forgot to mention on here. I played cards. Played cards with mum. I played, I played cards. So I'm going to actually circle four now. I wonder which one, which one should I do? What do you think? I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to circle this one. Played cards. That was one that I really enjoyed. Um, kick the footy. The footy. Um, I must have coloured my hair. I'll tell you a bit about that in my recount. And hmm, which other one should I do? Maybe we might do. Oh, actually, I've just thought of another thing. A thing that's come to my mind is I set up my my classroom. Set up my little home, home learning classroom so I can teach my amazing students. That's you. So I set up my classroom. I think I want to talk about that one as well on my recount. So they're my four that I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm going to do my series of events. Series of events which can go down here. So I'm just going to section this off. Get plenty of planning just so that way tomorrow I'm ready for to write my recount because remember how much our plans help us if we can plan from the beginning whichever writing piece that we do it makes our writing so much easier series of events or well, a series of events need to have first then next and finally,
Okay. So what was the first thing? Oh, I don't know where I put my... don't know where I put the black one. Never mind, I just use blue. All right, so first, what was the first thing that I did? The first thing I did was I kicked the football. So first, I kicked the football. Football. Then I played cards. So I'm only just writing just a couple of words. I'll expand it out when I do my draft starting from tomorrow. So played cards with mum. Um, next, I got my hair coloured, as you saw. Oops, got my hair coloured. And finally, I set up my home learning classroom. So my home learning classroom. All right, so I am planned and I am ready to go now for my drafting, which will start tomorrow. So I would like you to have a go now at planning yours, your holiday, Rick, because I'm looking forward to hearing about what you have done over the holidays. Okay, all the best, and I'll, I'll show you one more time. I'll show you my hair, all right? <laughs> all right, have fun, and I'll speak to you on Zoom.